In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to plan and organize your trips with the help of Google Sheets. Planning a trip can be both exciting and overwhelming, whether it's done by land, air, or sea. Thankfully, with tools like this travel planner template right here, you can easily organize your itinerary and make your trip smoother. So our first step would be to access this template. Go to your Google Drive, select your Google Apps right here, scroll down a little, and you'll see Sheets. Click on it, and now you'll be redirected to this Google Sheets interface. Go to your template gallery. Under the Personal category, you'll see the Travel Planner. Click on it, and again, a file with that template in it will be opened in another tab. And here we have it. So again, you can organize your itinerary day by day with this template. You have it right here. All you have to do would be to edit all the details like the name of the travelers, the dates for your travel, and your destination. For the first day, of course, that's going to start with your departure, where you're going to start your adventure. So the headers here would highlight the activities that you're going to be doing for that day. On the left side, we have our dates right here. So with this template, everything is organized by day. So whatever activity you plan on doing on that day should be included in that itinerary. So I edited this template to make my own. Well, not really as detailed as I wanted to. This is just for example's sake. So I entered a title for my trip. And let's say I'm going to be traveling with another person right there. We also have the dates of the travel and again, our destination. So this section allows you to plan out your day-to-day -day activities. You can include details such as location, time, and activities for each day of your trip. So here's our first travel tip. Be realistic with your time frames. Short trips, well, for this trip right here, this is about a five-day trip where three of the days are the only days where you can explore your destination. And what's important to remember with short trips, it's all about prioritizing what you really want to experience. So just focus on the must-see or must-do activities. By the way, when you're adding your flight, bus, or train details, include departure time and arrival time. And one of the most important things that you need to remember when planning or organizing your trips would be to make reservations or booking everything in advance, especially for, for, especially for short trips booking tours, reserving restaurants or your accommodations, tickets to enter amusement parks, you always have to do this in advance. This will save you so much time so that when you do arrive in that destination, all you'll have to do would be to enjoy the experience. So with those advanced bookings, especially for your accommodation, you'll have to include the check-in time, how many nights you're going to be staying, and the most important confirmation code. This would go with all of your reservations or advanced bookings. So make sure to have your confirmation code or your confirmation email for all of your bookings to be secure. So going back to our template, one of its best feature would be its flexibility. You can always adjust your itinerary based on what you need. So here in our example, we have our first full day to be a work day. So we're not going to do anything but attend a conference. So we're just going to focus on our third and fourth day. So here in our tourist day one and tourist day two, we have included two destinations for each day. So it's not as packed as I want it to be. But again, you can always suggest this. You can add other activities if you see that you have time. That's why including a time frame is quite important so you can keep track on the things that you can do and you can do and cannot do. And finally, if you want to have a printed copy of this itinerary, you can always do so, especially when you just want to show your confirmation code to someone else instead of handing them or showing them your phone. So to print this out, all you have to do is to go to file in the menu bar and select print at the bottom or do the keyboard shortcut of control P or command P. And there you have it. That's how to plan and organize your trips with this easy to use travel planner template here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.